Section 3.1 Graphing Equations. Our first objective is to plot ordered pairs. So before we do that, we need to go over a few vocabulary words. The rectangular coordinate system, which is what we do to graph things, that's x and y. Ordered pair, that's two numbers associated with the point on the graph. The first uh, number gives the horizontal location of the point. The second gives the vertical location. So the horizontal is the x. The vertical is the y. So a coordinate point, or a coordinate, is a number and an ordered pair. You have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And again, I just repeat, x-axis is the horizontal number line, y-axis is the vertical line. Origin is the point of intersection of the two axes. So origin is 0, 0. There are four quadrants that make up the coordinate plane. Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Quadrant 1, x and y are positive. Quadrant 2, x is negative, y is positive. Quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. And quadrant 4, x is positive and y is negative. Now for our first example, we're going to plot each ordered pair. And we're going to state what quadrant or which axis the point lies on. So first, let's plot 4, 1. So we have 4, 1. That means we have to go 4 to the x and y1. So 4 on x, 1 on y, and here we go, we have our point. Next, we have negative 3, negative 2. So that means we have to go negative 3 on the x-axis and negative 2 on the y-axis, and so on. So I'm just going to plot all these points. Alright, I plotted all the points. Now let's determine what axis or quadrant each of these are in. So 4, 1 is right here. That's quadrant 1. Negative 3, negative 2 is down below here. That's quadrant 3. 2, negative 2 is quadrant 4. 0, 4. Well, that's on the y-axis. It's not in a quadrant. And 5, 0 is on the x-axis. Not in a quadrant. Objective 2. Determine whether an ordered pair is a solution. So we want to determine whether 3, negative 2 is the solution to 2x plus 5y equals negative 4. We're going to plug these in. We have x and y. So we have 2 times x, which is 3, plus 5 times y, which is negative 2, equals negative 4. Now, in order for this to be a solution, the left side of the equation needs to equal the right side of the equation. So we have 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 equals negative 4. 6 minus 10 is negative 4. So yes, it's a solution. Now we're going to move on. Same thing for example 3. We want to determine whether negative 1, 6 is the solution to 3x minus y equals 5. We're going to do the same exact thing. We have x and y. So we have 3 times x, which is negative 1, minus y, which is 6, equals 5. So we do 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus 6, equals 5. Negative 9 does not equal 5, so no. Negative 1, 6 is not a solution. Objective 3. We're going to graph linear equation by finding points. There are many ways to graph equations and functions. This is just one way you can use. If you ever forget how to graph, make a t-chart. So you pick an x and you get a y. And this works for any type of graph. Of course, when you get to trig and calculus, you have to figure out what x's you can choose. But for intermediate algebra, you are able to pick any x and get any y you want. So for example 4, we're going to make a t-chart, and we're going to determine whether the equation is linear or not, then graph the equation. So first, let's graph the equation. 
we don't let's say we don't know how to graph lines or we forget so I'm gonna pick an X and get a Y I like to do negative 1 0 and 1 just to get three points so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug them into the equation so we have negative X which is negative 1 minus Y equals 2 so negative negative becomes positive we're going to subtract 1 to both sides so we have negative y equals positive 1 and then we can't have that negative in front of the y so what we need to do is actually divide it out so we have y equals negative 1 so negative 1 goes here next we're going to put 0 in so we're going to do the same exact thing except with 0 so we have negative x, which is 0, minus y equals 2. So negative 0 is just 0. So we have negative y equals 2. Divide out the negative. So we have y equals negative 2. Now, we're going to repeat the process again with positive 1. So we have negative x which is positive 1 minus y equals 2 so we have negative 1 minus y equals 2 we're gonna add 1 to both sides we have negative y equals 3 divide out the negative we have y equals negative 3 now that we have three points we can go ahead and plot them and create this graph so we have negative 1 negative 1 0 negative 2 and 1, negative 3. We're going to connect the dots. So is this linear? Yes, it's linear. Moving on to the next example. We're going to do the same thing again. Pick the same points. So we have negative 1, 0, and 1. So if it's just y equals x, that means we have y equals negative 1, y equals 0, and y equals 1. So negative 1, 0, 1. Let's plot our points. Negative 1, 1, 0, 0, also known as the origin, and 1, 1. Yes, this is linear creates a nice line. That's it for section 3.1.